Hello. Welcome to our afternoon. My name is Kirsten Grunberg, and I am a librarian at the Hyattsville Library of the Prince George's County Memorial Library System. Today, we're going to create a winter sculpture with cardboard and any available materials that we have back home. Let me start uh, sharing my screen so we can review what we're going to be doing today. Here we go. Again, we're going to be creating a winter sculpture this afternoon in our afternoon session. And this is my name, Kirsten Grunberg and my email address in case you would like to contact me later on. So, let's think about the colors and shapes that we can start thinking about to create our sculpture. One thing is to take a look at the images of what snowflakes look like. And very often the colors that are represented during the winter, which are usually blues, uh, which may be dark or maybe a little bit white and including some purple. So we can think about those colors and we can also think about the different shapes that a snowflake has. If you can think about um, other ideas that may relate to winter, well, they're more than welcome. So these are the materials that we're going to be using uh, today for our craft. I think it's a good idea to start with uh, having a pencil also some available markers. And it, again, if you have them in purples and blues, that would be great. But you may also use any colors that you wish. A pair of scissors. And in this case, I think it's a good idea to ask your parents or an older brother or sister to help you in case you don't know how to use the scissors very well. Um, and even if you do, perhaps they could be um, close to this activity and join you as well. Perhaps all the family members can participate in this project. Some other materials that we're going to use are is cardboard and we can use them from different boxes that we may have that we're not using, different sizes of cardboard, um, different colors of cardboard. You can think about, for example, cereal boxes that you're not using anymore, or if you have cardboard uh, boxes from a package that you received, you can use that as well. If you have um, some uh, cardboard left over from uh, paper towels, perhaps we can use them for the sculpture. Now, uh, let's try and practice a few lines with our markers to get some ideas of how we would like to design our um, winter sculpture. So if you have a sheet of paper, uh, you can start practicing these lines with me. So let's start by just creating a long straight line. We can also think about short lines as well. We can think about curvy lines. And we can call these lines 
many different ways as well. If you want to call them happy lines or skipping lines, you may call them any way you wish. These are some zigzag. You see now these are very straight. And we can also create some diagonal lines and start creating patterns with the different color markers that we have. How about if we can think of including some other shapes in our lines? For example, dots or triangles. And we can start experimenting with different um, designs because what we would like to do is to create similar designs in the shapes of our cardboard later on. So once we take one line and we repeat it very often, that's going to become a pattern. All right, so now that we have that figured out, let's try and cut uh, the cardboard into different shapes and sizes. And these are some ideas. We can cut some squares or some rectangles or both. We can also think about um, ovals and triangles and any other shape that you think you like. In this case, what I have is um, very thin cardboard and also some thick cardboard. So I also wanted to include different types of cardboard that I had. Okay, now let's start to create our own patterns, our own designs in each cardboard shape. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so what I did in this case was to create some zigzag lines with a dark blue and then some short lines in the middle. This time I tried something different. I tried some long blue lines and then short light blue lines. What do you think? So these are some ideas that I made and you can create your own ideas uh, with the lines that you prefer. Okay, now that we have these shapes of cardboard with the designs, Let's start to build our sculpture. So what we need is to cut um, our cardboard on the top and on the bottom, just a little bit. Um, so we can slide the cardboard on top uh, uh, of each piece. We can also think of cutting it on the sides as well. So let me show you what I mean. So you see where I created uh, some small cuts, two on the top, two on the bottom, and then one on each side. Perhaps you need to make several other different cuts along the way. But this is just an idea um, so we can start thinking about um, how to put all the cardboard pieces together. All right, so what I did was now I put two thin pieces of cardboard in one thick piece of cardboard, and then I put the other one on top. And this way I start putting all the cardboard pieces together. 
you see, here is another idea. And you're going to start to see that there are many ways, many different ways to build our sculpture now. And I want to share some examples with you. Okay, here is one. So I put different shapes together side by side. Here's another example. Now I wanted to place one on top. And how about this one? This is, looks like a tower. And now I created a longer um, design when I put all the uh, cardboard pieces together. Now I made a very long one. <coughs> Excuse me. And it even looks like a snake, doesn't it? And here is where I use the rule of, um, of paper. Yes, so I could also create uh, a tall tower with my pieces of cardboard. So as you can see, you can create a sculpture with different shapes of cardboard. And it looks like winter because we're trying to use colors that are blues and purples. And we're also thinking about um, the different shapes of snowflakes or uh, any other shape that you can think of during the winter. Now, let, how about if we check some books at our library that can give us some more ideas? Here is one that I wanted to share. It's called Women Artists A to Z. And it's a great book about women who have different ideas of uh, uh, to create their art. So for example, there is one artist who loves dots and she designs many, many different uh, sizes and colors of dots in her artwork. So that's one idea of a book that I wanted to share. Another one is called 3D Art Lab for Kids, 32 Hands-On Adventures in Sculptures and Mixed Media. And you can see how you can also create different types of sculptures and use different materials as well. When you open the book, you're also going to see some beautiful uh, pictures of how your artwork may look like and step-by-step -step, um, uh, ways of, of, of instructions. Okay, well, have fun uh, in your beautiful project and thank you very much for joining us. See you soon. Enjoy. Bye-bye.